Around the turn of the century before last, long before there was skiing, tubing, or fishing nearby, long before people walked or rode bikes in the mountains just for the fun of it, and back when Ski Run Road was just a dirt trail, there was the Bottle House. It was called the Bottle House to all who passed it on their way to town, and was used as a reference point or landmark to those who lived nearby or frequently passed. The evening winds would stir up the bottles tied to the branches of the trees, and the tinkling of the glass was heard by all who lived cautiously nearby. It was hoped by the occupants of the old bottle house that the ghosts known to be on the land would hear the tinkling of the glass and stay away. Over the years, the cabin fell in disarray, and the bottles crashed to the ground. But the place was still known as Bottle House, and it was the only name given to the old cabin. That was then, and this is now. The old cabin is gone, and in its wake stands a beautiful new compound full of wonderful cabins with amazing amenities. It is now time for a moment in history, brought to you by Texas Farmers Union. Visit their website, www.texasfarmersunion.org. Today's moment in history comes from a veteran of World War II. My parents were farmers, and they had a few cattle. They had a half section of land, and uh, we had an apple orchard. We always grew a, a nice grape vineyard and a big garden. We always canned a lot of fruit, vegetables, and we'd always put up a two-year supply in case there was a late freeze, and next year we wouldn't have a supply of fruit. So we would can a two-year supply when we had a good crop. Back in those days, nearly all people got their living from the land and they preserved it. And when they made a, even a vegetable crop, when they grew a corn crop in the field with pea, peas and beans, they canned those and put up a year or two supply in their cellar in fruit jars so they'd have food for the next two years. We got to where we couldn't buy sugar and we, they rationed gasoline. You could only buy so many gallons of gasoline. And uh, sugar got hard to get, and a lot of food items was very scarce. They said all this in the produced in the United States is nearly all going to the soldier boys to promote the war and support the war. Texas Farmers Union welcomes you to the Hub City Gardeners. Texas Farmers Union is the state's oldest general farm organization that represents family farmers and ranchers in rural interest of Texas. Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service designed the volunteer development program and provides the training to increase the availability of horticultural information and improve the quality of life through horticultural projects. 